R.I.P. Joss Whedon's career, you fucking ball sack looking motherfucker. So apparently, Gal Gadot's stunt double, um, Caitlin Burroughs, she recently shared photos from her time under Joss Whedon's uh, reshoots, which confirms that Gal Gadot didn't want anywhere to be near Joss Whedon. So apparently the rumors of Joss Whedon being abusive, like Ray Fisher has stated, and and Gal Gadot and the cast hating uh, Joss Whedon is apparently true. Because like I said, uh, Kate Burroughs uh, showed f- uh, photos of her time as Wonder Woman during the reshoots. Like we have photos of Caitlin Burroughs donning the Wonder Woman costume and doing reshoots, stand-ins for Gal Gadot. And they superimposed Gal Gadot's face on on this uh, stunt double's uh, on this uh, on the on the actress the, the stunt double's uh, face the actress's face, which is like wow again confirms that Gal Gadot didn't want to be anywhere near Joss Whedon because that motherfucker is a creeper, he's a creeper, and again the snowball effect is starting to begin. You're gonna see more and more people coming out defending Ray Fisher, defending the cast, and just shitting on Joss Whedon because apparently he that this ball sack looking motherfucker is the scum of the earth. He's literally dark side in this fucking universe, bro. Don't need to cast Ray Fisher, just cast Joss Whedon because this motherfucker's dark side. So yeah. Again, the snowball effect is starting to begin. More people are starting to come out, and it just reaffirms. That the rumor of Joss Sweden locking Gal Gadot in her fucking dressing room because she didn't want to, she didn't want to speak his shitty dialogue is, is is coming true. It's coming true. It's coming true. Like I said, this is all true, and you could hear, you could already hear the bloggers trying to fucking write articles, uh, trying to spin it and and defend Joss Sweden and shit on Gal Gadot because you know these bloggers are sucking the 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 ball sack of Joss Sweden and Marvel and they don't want their precious fucking hero to be fucking crucified. But too late motherfucker. This motherfucker is a creeper and you all knew about it too. You all know about it and you're trying to defend this ball sack looking motherfucker. Stop it you fucking blogger pieces of shit. I fucking hate you all bro. This is turning into a rant but whatever. Anyways um yeah so there you go. It's true. It's true. Got uh Gagudo Hey, Shaw Sweden. She didn't want to be anywhere near him, and, and apparently uh, Ben Affleck wanted uh, to like do a strike and just walk off set because of how bad uh, Josh Sweden, the ball sack looking motherfucker, treated the cast. So yeah, this is all coming to light. More people are are, are gonna speak out. Hopefully, Jason Momoa and Ben Affleck. Hopefully, all these people uh, start to speak out and all this shit. But yeah. You had Caitlin Burroughs, the stunt double, doing most of, of Gal Gadot's uh, scenes. And they superimposed Gal Gadot's face onto this actress. That's how bad it was, bro. That's how fucking atrocious Justice League was on set. That's how bad it was. That the cast didn't even, the cast didn't even want to be in this fucking movie. Nobody wanted to do this fucking movie. But thanks to fucking Jeff Johns, that fucking dumbass. And John Berg, another fucking retard. Nobody wanted to do this. Nobody wanted to do this fucking movie. Again, it just goes to show how it goes to show a piece of shit like Joss Whedon did this. He did this. And and Ray Fisher was right. They all enabled this motherfucker. And now it's all coming and now it's all coming to light. And I cannot wait for the fucking mountain to fucking crumble under Joss Whedon, that ball sack looking motherfucker. But yeah, man, it, it's it's all coming out. It's all coming out. Uh, the, Ray Fisher, the stunt double. And I'm sure uh, more of the cast and crew on, on the Justice League set is going to speak out. Like uh, like uh, Kevin Smith, he, he talked about how the VFX guys like j- just started telling. Um, he told them like, you know, Joss Whedon was fucking. He was just talking shit on, J- on Zack Snyder on set in front of the actors. Just talking shit because he's a fucking asshole. And hopefully the cast slowly starts coming out and starts uh, backing up Ray and, and starts speaking the truth. I don't know if they're under NDA or something like that. I don't know if they have other shit to promote. But again, the stunt double, she she, she just posted on, on Instagram. She's like, yeah, this is true. He's a fucking asshole. And Gal Gadot didn't, didn't want to be on set. So there you go. The truth is coming out, baby. <laughs>